I'm Pat Kahn, and this is part of my Let's Play series for Fallout 4. And as you can see, I have a certain quest in mind. We were invited to Cabot House by a ghoul who we met at, uh, Budge. At Bunker Hill. Go away. Let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. And this is part of a kind of fun and quirky uh, quest line that you uh, that you can do. A lot of this is love. Ca Let's love go meet the themes. boss. Lead on. Like, the Fallout universe has a whole lot of uh, influences. And the Lovecraft in influence, it's never been huge, but it's never been zero either. Jack, the new gal is here. One moment, one moment. You just have to... <laughs> He'll be right with us. <laughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Edward said you needed to... Yes. Edward finds it tires. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. People can't actually live here, right? Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Hmm. I'm not sure there's a uh, You joke, but make a good point. Say humans perish from the Earth, what would they know of us? Even after thousands of years, there would be plenty left of our civilization. There would be something left, but perhaps less than you think. The ancients built mighty works that they must have thought would stand the test of time. Yet we know next to nothing about them. In fact, most people don't know they even existed. Jack, can I tell her what I need her to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending her to look for the missing... Uh -huh. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. I'm ready to get to work. Good. That's part of the job, by the way. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility. The notion of ownership is city. a little fuzzy. There's an important well, package first, we'll that went missing it. between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? For starters, what's this? It's a metal case holding box. You don't need to worry about what it is. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards hurt. Check in with Maria at Parsons. Uh -huh. You all set then? I'm out of here. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. Okay. And here we can are testing that, yes, we did get the key. I'm not sure what would happen if you were to... Uh, I guess it means that you just could not leave. Even if you wanted to. Uh, uh, if you were to attempt to leave while they were still talking to you. Which is maybe a semi-sensible thing, since it simplifies the amount of scripting they have to do, but... Anyhow. So, we'll fast travel here and just briefly take a look. I've built some beds for the traders. Uh, really beefed up the security because, again, this is one of the areas where if, uh, if there are attacks, usually it's extraordinarily tough uh, super mediums, and you just don't want to go through that. So, we're heading north. We don't yet have this on our map. Yeah? Huh? And 
that's kind of interesting. Looks like it's a raised patio area. But the the weird shape of it combined with the, a ledger area on top, I don't quite understand what this was meant for. Clearly it's not like a place that people would die from. And all the umbrellas, maybe people would come up here for like a semi... I don't know. It's, it's hard to tell. And my character is absurdly fast. Former insane asylum. That's a little bit of a look of uh, of the Arkham Asylum from the Batman uh, Batman series. Nothing to loot here. Okay. And you can see that there are mercenaries, but they are not marked as hostile. Here's who we're supposed to talk to. Hey there. This place is off-limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. Oh. You're the new girl. So this package... Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the... Thanks for your help. Sure thing. Hey. Be careful. It's weird that they're still hanging around so close. It's like they're scouting the place or something. Okay. So, off we go. But yeah, you can... This would feel like a great set for a movie. Or even a game that's tightly themed around uh, this place. Like, whoever put this, this place together, I think they did a pretty good job. Uh, so, we're... Now, we do have Parsons Creamery, Creamery on our map, but... I'm worried that if I fast travel to it, I'll just be dropped right into the midst of combat. And this is a place where you kind of want to approach it a little bit more gradually. So let's walk there. And here you can see a great demonstration of... Is there something up there? Looks like there's something up there, I think. I saw some red. Anyhow, the, the highway archite uh, architecture of Fallout 4 is pretty interesting. Ooh, that is interest interesting as well. Looks like this is a raider base. Let's head up and say hello. Let's take some of their stuff down here. Now, if you wanted Got to be it. a subtle bandit, which the game doesn't really again? let you do in any real sense, you could just destroy the elevator. That would be very, very annoying for people who live here. I'm gonna save the game just in case this was a terrible idea. Okay, and we're gonna pop on up. And we're not seeing anybody else here yet, but I'm betting that they're up, up here. They might be asleep because it's late at night. Okay, there's a sentry bot. Don't wanna let it see me.
Yeah, there's no real quest purpose for being up here, but getting some of that loot is generally a good idea. Uh, and Hancock is here, but we're headed down now. Thank goodness for the um, freefall legs. Okay, so over there is our target. And we let's map out as much as we can, get as much information as we can before we get too close. sure how many there are, but just if we can mark them all, then we're less likely to be caught by surprise. And maybe we can take one out now. Yep. One nice quick shot, and our danger is greatly diminished. Serum? Serum? However that's pronounced. Let's see if we can find anything else interesting. Picture frames. More picture frames. I don't remember if, if there might be some additional serum around. So I'll just do a quick walkabout to see. Oh, there's at least some other good stuff here. this was meant to get up or down. Presumably there must have been some crane or something that lifted this boat up here. Uh, unless it was somehow the explosion that did it. But that seems a little unlikely. Yeah, so as a, uh, as a raider settlement, this place does not get high marks. The, the walls are too porous. Nice. It would not be particularly easy to spot somebody coming up. Um, I mean, it's a place, but it's not a great place. Yeah, it's just, it's just way, way too open. Yeah, I think we're done here, so let's fast travel back, and It's 
reason plot-wise is this quest is it, it's also a little bit anticlimactic. Uh, okay, so this is interesting. So you do have quick access to the outside. You have robots guarding. If, if I were the Cabot, I would probably want to try and seal this place off a little bit more. You still want to leave uh, adequate avenues of escape, but... It would acceptable. be nice to have fewer Imogene people. Imogene is missing, and I want them. her found. She's not missing, mother. Do you know where she is? No, but that doesn't. Your sister mean... is missing, and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not. Mother, a... Edward has better things to do people than sending someone out to find here, Imogene. Right? Again. Imogene is out there somewhere, maybe even lying dead in a ditch. And so you did you don't find out what happened care. to the courier? Not going to have Edward drop everything. Some raiders set up camp. Hmm. I don't like raiders. Mm -hmm. What Jack, about the sir? So there was only this one vial. Oh, good. I was afraid we would. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing now. Oh hell, I guess. I can't believe you don't care what happens to your sister. She's a grown woman. She's perfectly capable of looking after herself. So, what is I happening? don't think you're even listening to me, Jack. Mother, will you let it go, please? Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, Wonder here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figure that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boy. No problem. The trouble usually is... Right. I don't know where she's going. She's been spending a lot... Somebody there must know something. She's not... I know the third red. Okay, so... We're heading back out. To head to the third rail. To help find Jack's sister. Ordinarily, this would feel like kind of a silly thing to have as a quest. It doesn't uh, advance the plot. The combat, well, it kind of advances the plot, but the combats are not that interesting. What you have to do is not that interesting. But it pretty firmly establishes the character of, uh, of the family. And that, that adds some depth to the story. Because if, if the family were just generic individuals, completely normal and and so on then what you need something to take the edge off Fred Allen Hotel Rex and the story would would just yeah. feel kind of bare <laughs> by making uh, making uh, all members of the family real people with with their squabbles and stuff it uh, it makes the story feel unfortunately it is kind of sketched out in a bit of a stereotypical way it's hard to this is maybe the most obvious way that you would imagine a family like this would work. Entertainments down the stairs. You ever been to kill or be killed? Some fine looking weapons. Oi, we got beer. You ain't bought. Do you know? Name rings a bell. Try Magnolia. Magnolia! Uh -huh. Mayor, citizen. Excuse me, miss. Hmm? Well, what's the matter, sweetheart? Don't tell me. I love the song. Angelic as usual, Mags. Oh, well, thank you. Now, there's something... Ah, that's it. You... So what brings so a woman like you to So that bit here depends on what your highest stat is, which is kind of fun. Me? Playing a game. <laughs> that's uh... So it's my turn to... I was wondering if... <laughs> Something I can do for you, gorgeous? Do you know em Imogene? Sure. Uh-huh. She's missing. 
Well, I'm glad so. I just need to know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eye. Pam! Would you come over here? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No. This lady here was just looking for Emma Jane. Do you happen to know where that uh, preacher fella came from? Hmm. Brother Thomas? Yes. That's right. The one Emma Jane was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here. I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Emma Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Okay. So, it's interesting to see the third rail. They've established uh, blocks here to to try and contain maybe future yes. collapse uh, of hey, the sand. Don't the have no the hand out. Thing done. What thing? You know. The thing. The thing with the things. Oh, right. That. Yeah. I got that all handled. Huh. Downstairs. Don't bother me the patron. Yeah, I, I miss that feature of uh, Fallout 3, that the subways actually would take you somewhere. You would be walking a long time underground, but you could travel the, uh, the capital wasteland. There. So here we have a quest marker pointing us at Charles Amp uh, Amphitheater. When the hell are they going to turn that thing off? Turn what thing off? Hmm. Oh. Well, somewhere nearby there's some combat. But we are here Hello, to talk to this fellow. Actually, I'm kind of curious. I've never been back here. So it looks like this is where people sleep. Kind of a bit of a squalor, but... I hope you decide to become one of the pillars of the community. Hey. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I don't have time for this. You should make time for something this important, neighbor. Something that could change yep, your life, yep, yep, yep. and maybe the whole commonwealth. We that call ourselves kind of the pillars of the community. always been pretty annoying to me. We're a pretty new yep, yep, movement, you so you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast yep, all across on. the commonwealth, and you can be part of this exciting future. Step right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. I'm just looking for... Oh, I'm sorry, but Emma Jean is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Her family's worried... You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but... She and I are just having a little... Relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> she's not seeing anybody until she cools off. I'm a friend of the fan. Oh, yeah. We can be real convincing. Look, the truth is, we had a little, uh, disagreement about her joining the movement. She got kind of violent. So I locked her in there until I could figure out what to do with her. If you're willing to take her off my hands, let me unlock the door for you, and then she's all yours. Uh, I've got to warn you, she's way stronger than she looks. It took all of us combined to even get her locked up in there. So, he's definitely a shady guy. <coughs> hmm. 
Whatever robot they're paying to tidy this place, it ain't enough. He's all yours, neighbor. We don't have anything to talk about. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. Well, actually it was Edward, but close enough. Edward, who works for Jack. It wasn't Jack. I'm fine, as you can see. But since you've already gone to a... Uh -huh. I was bored with Thomas anyway. He actually thought he could force... Your boyfriend Thomas was a real charmer. I was done with him. And he shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Hmm. Yeah, there's no real way that she could have escaped. At least as far as I can tell. Even if she does still have uh, some kind of powers from that uh, serum. So, we're done here. Uh, we are going to briefly swing by uh, to some settlement to drop off any loot that we might have grabbed. I think we might have grabbed a little bit of loot. And then we'll be proceeding to the final stage of this quest line. Which is a big and fun adventure. Da -da -da -da. Um, don't need that. Don't know why I even picked that up. Don't need that. Nor that. Okay, well that's down enough. Let's go take a quick minute to get our health up to 100%. Um, you can see I put some time into this place. I'd want this to be a nice social area. Hey, Mayor. I didn't realize you were back in town. Look, I... I still haven't got all the caps together, but just give me another week. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. One more week. But you better have it then. Now get the hell out of here. Uh, oh. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what I intended that area to be. I thought I had some beds down here. Do I have enough beds? Eight beds. Oh, that's right. I put them upstairs. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I actually, I really like how this settlement turned out. It, I like having this kind of social area. You can just kind of imagine people here hanging out, uh, doing the bar thing, and just doing all the farming in between, and having a nice uh, place to just pop upstairs and go to bed at the end of the day. Fun stuff. I probably should build, uh, should build a radio tower to attract more people to that settlement, because I think right now it only has two, and it will keep only having two until I pull more in. And I built it to have a lot more uh, people, but... Are you there? Edward! Edward! Oh Edward, my God, it's switch happening. over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? You can't actually. Ching now. How's this? <laughs> oh, that's stunning. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I've never seen raiders this... For God's sake, Sammy. The doorway, right there. Huh. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can. So you can kind of see the, the generational difference that's played out in the, uni in the United Hello? States here, reflected Edward? into later decades. Come in, Edward. Older generations ah. had 
more no antiquated signal at all. feeling names. I've lost Jack What's being happening, son. Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, As if they free him, names don't that were worry, more I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. Oh. What do you want? What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have... Probably the same raider. Hmm. Could be. If some of them... What exactly do... I suppose it's time you knew. The main benefit of the serum is to halt aging. My family and I are all over four... But it also confers others. Mm -hmm. It increases strength and resistance to all. Mm -hmm. So at least some of these raiders, maybe. If you're 400 years... Yes, I think you were too. I'd say... mid-21st century? That's right. I was in cryosleep until recently. Interesting. We'll have to talk, right? Is there anything else before we get going? I think it's time you told... You're right. Jack? Are you sure it's wise telling her all this? My father. He became dangerously unstable after handling an artifact he found on an archaeological dig in Arabia. He gained various seemingly paranormal powers. In the end, I had no choice but to confine him. In the course of my attempts to cure him, I... So the source of... Him, sure. If he were to escape from Parsons, I... not to mention that the artifact has made him paranoid. Homicidally violent and endowed with extraordinary abilities. We'd better get to Parsons right away, then. Exactly right. Hold on. Weren't you off looking for Imogene? Mm hmm. Yes, I found. Oh! At least there's one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid of. Caps is what you use. Before we go, I need you to understand. When we get to Parsons. Mm hmm. Got it. Good. Make sure you have what... Jack, be careful. Excuse me. And... Just follow me. Try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. Okay, so we are heading off. To go and meet Jack's father. Ready? Let's go. Just to be clear, under no circumstances can we allow Lorenzo to be freed from Parsons. I would have lost my father forever. I refuse to let that happen after spending so long trying to cure him. Okay. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Whoa. Uh, let's go. Dude. Fuck it. Let's just tra fast travel there. In some past games, I followed him uh, the whole way there. In some past games, I fast traveled, but he occasionally gets stuck. So here we are back at. Oh. Edward's men seem to have given a good account of themselves. Jackpot. But not good enough, sadly. Oh, we need to get to my office. From there, we can see how bad things really are. Okay, stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go. Well, at least we got a little bit of ammo out of it. It does seem kind of harsh. But... It said I'd have when they pick a theme, they stick to it. I'll give them that. I can't believe there's gonna be worth the trouble. Look at this place. Nothing but dust and junk. Junk! <laughs> Oh. 
didn't say we were finished. Okay, so just gotta keep pushing forward. Getting any ammo that we would like. And that spells crazy, which is kind of fun for an insane, ins uh, insane asylum. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, they have quite exceptional health and damage. It can take some work to uh, take them out. You won't really see me picking up much stuff here because this is a very loot rich area. And if I were to pick stuff up, I would be full very quickly. I'll just pick up some of the more rare stuff. And maybe I'll do an off camera visit back to loot this place more fully. Sweet. Grab that tape. Okay, do, 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 shotgun shells. Here, this leads back into the entry area that we were blocked off from before. And there Edward, is. Edward, how badly are you hurt? I'm not dead yet. Nice. But I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I, I sent the elevator down to the basement like you wanted and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. <sighs> Haven't seen anybody for quite a while. I think it's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. <clears throat> They've definitely reached the basement. You okay? Although I don't, don't worry understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter now have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Let's get on with it. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine. Be careful, Jack. You too. Okay, so... Looks like this is where we're going, maybe. No, oh, no, maybe not. Oh, goodness. Big open area. Oh, Playing games with me, huh? Ah! Come on. Did I 
I get you? Basically, I'm, uh, at this point, I'm just trying to mostly make sure that I keep hope. Taking some perks that mean I do significantly more damage with uh, with shotguns. I'm in a pretty good place to uh, to face combat, and I'm not even bringing the strongest weapons that I can. Also, those strong weapons are not quite as good as uh, you would think they are because the reload time is usually pretty poor. What was... <clears throat> something. Something must have moved. Let's hope we can find a way through. The utility elevator is on the bottom floor. Come on. Not exactly the pushover that we were... Okay. Oh, that was very close to opening right up from the beginning. Yes. End of the line! Drink. Come in and see what that was. <laughs> no. So, you like to go? I'm camping. Hey, you're fucking out. <laughs> Looks like this was a upper floor place of presentation. You're quite close quarters. Hey, I got some. Should have run. They're getting torn up. All of them. We got the losing people. I'm losing next. Okay, moving nicely. Also, having uh, the stim pack perks at this I'm level uh, means that I can pretty efficiently heal. And it's especially nice when my foes are carrying stim packs because usually they're not going to do nearly as much damage oh to me man, as back. I can heal with uh, the stim pack. Is there a door up there? Ah. Okay. Place you give a cleaning bot a hardest. No attack. need to hide. It'll all be over soon. No sign of them now. I like it. Let's go eat. Eat alone. You can eat when I'm damn sure we're not about to get hard. Ah! Yeah, definitely. This is a, a fun area to, uh, to do combat. Okay. No run out of bullets and no fuck's oh, sake. Yeah. How many of these bastards are there? The narrow that <laughs> possible to uh, navigate this area. See, here's where they kept. We don't have time for this. Other subjects. Any personal? You or me? brought suitcases in. It's not intentionally but at least that's what I read from it. It's rather just that they did not put enough resources into making these places uh, decent places to uh We gotta be. hold them off until Lefty finishes downstairs. Are Playing quite games with me, huh? Now we're gonna drop down further and oh. Scared, huh? You should be. 
Well, if they weren't nuts when they got it. Gotta reload sometime, <laughs> asshole! <laughs> day where you're killing a bunch of people pretty well. It does seem like that would always be unfortunate, even if they were pretty bad people. I guess making the world a better place is theoretically something that should feel good, but the idea that you're ending lives is Got it. kind of, uh, it's at least a downer. Well, nimble, aren't you? That Raider would need the key. That Raider had already taken damage, so. Hmm. Well, shut. I think we need to run back up and get uh, get Jack. Going up. Show us what Ooh. you got. Well, they tried. I guess you could call that trying. Okay, and now he ran downstairs, and we can head back downstairs ourselves. Going down. And something happened with him. Learning to teleport short distances. Well, good for you, Hancock. That's probably a pretty useful skill. Basement. Kill everyone you see. Don't hesitate. We can't let them release Lorenzo. interesting this area well, take a look at it when I'm done picking this sweet this kind of feels what like the hell was it's all almost this an for? outside but an outside at the and outside between buildings somehow. All those assholes uh, trying to shut down the Abramlin. The it's it's the only thing air. keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, huh. Jack. Fancy it's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. No, I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now. That's right. You need to shut down the container to open the door. Security doors. Hurry it up. I'm opening the main door. 
Hurry! The equivalent is down! Apparently, even the simplest task was beyond. <laughs> Listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe in the containment grid. Switch the four umbrella and generate a manual override, and I can fund this cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door and let me out. That's it. Don't worry. The Zeta radiation won't harm you. I'm sorry, Father. I did everything I could to avoid this. I believe I was close to finding a way to remove the art. Liar! And have put me here forever if you've had your way, puny worm. Do you truly think you have the power to destroy me? Good. Goodbye, Father. Seems like a pretty stupid setup. Isn't it? Why would you, if you needed to keep something contained, you don't want to live the long ways away from it. Hey there. We didn't have any other choice, did we? You're going to have to. Dis I know. He would have killed both his crimes back when he was free. The world now. It's a no. I've. Uh -huh. I'm sorry about. Lil Thank you. I appreciate. It. Before you go. Right. I think this is fair. Great. Thanks. One more thing. I've done so much research. Come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. Yep, and so that's the end of this quest line. He unfortunately had to kill his father because uh, the artifact had corrupted him and he couldn't find a way to reverse that. But paradoxically, he was uh, also surviving for hundreds of years only because things that he extracted from his corrupted father. I would say that this storyline kind of feels like a mix of Alfred Hitchcock Presents and H.P. Uh, Lovecraft. It doesn't quite have as much of the horror element as most of Lovecraft's works do, but uh, but it has looks like some has that a kind bomb of and a butcher uh, shop in here, and it has kind of the moral twistiness of Alfred Hitchcock presents, or maybe the Twilight Zone.
I don't really do Gunslinger or Commando. Sneak is a little bit tempting. Action Girl is a little bit tempting. Uh, quick Hand is kind of tempting. Or we could go for some of these luck based. Uh, luck based things like Scrounger is, is, is pretty nice. Or we could start working our, our way up in luck uh, towards uh, Four Leaf Clover or Critical Banker, both of which are incredibly useful perks. I don't think that, uh, or we could start working our strength up to the point where we can start on Strong Back. I think Strong Back might be a little bit better of a use for me because I just absolutely loathe the process of becoming overloaded. So it'll be two levels from now when I'll be able to take the first rank in the perk. Yeah, usually I take it up to level four, which means that you can fast travel while overburdened. That's just a pretty amazing thing to be able to do. So let's head up to the coastal cottage. I've done a little bit up here, not a lot, and I'll dump off my stuff and then we'll end the video. I just wanted to show uh, this off. I don't know how much more I got of this. Nice. So we have the bed. And the place to drop things off. Don't really need a syringe or that. Trouble that is not useful. I, I've just done a little bit of cleanup here, but I have built a structure here. Right now it's just one floor. It's raised, and it's just places for people to sleep. But I've laid the foundation for uh, doing something on uh, on the next floor up here. Not really sure what I'm gonna build up here, but um, it's important that uh, with the settlement that if you're kind of low on on how much of the stuff that you can have in a settlement, you see that upper right hand bar uh, that you keep thinking about. Where am I gonna put my uh, my next set of things? And unfortunately, this settlement is quite full. You don't have the ability to scrap these trees or that couch or really much of anything else. So the land that you can build on is quite limited. So you have to, yeah, you have to be very, you have to shepherd your uh, resources here. Anyhow, uh, that's all I have for uh, this video. And you will hopefully see me in the next video. Bye-bye.